Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about Aeroplan and its recent announcement uh, making Porter Airlines a partner starting July 2020. What it means that uh, starting that point, uh, you'll be able to earn and redeem Aeroplan uh, using Porter uh, flights and uh, this partnership opens up a new opportunity for Aeroplan members. And at the same time, Aeroplan is in talks with One World Alliance member, our One World Alliance, which has 13 members and some other partners. Some of its uh, partners are airlines such as British Airways, American Airlines, Cathay Pacific, and many more. So if uh, these talks with uh, One World Alliance uh, become successful, then you'll be able to earn and redeem Aeroplan points through One World Partnership or Partners, uh, which is just like uh, the way you earn and redeem Aeroplan points through Star Alliance program right now, uh, which Air Canada is a, a part of. And uh, this membership with Air Canada and Star Alliance uh, will end in July 2020. So the question you may be asking whether uh, you should uh, redeem all your Aeroplan points right now or you should hold and wait uh, to see what uh, you know what happens after July 2020 and I'll address these questions today uh, in this video so before I do that let me show you something first and then I'll talk about or I'll give you my honest opinion uh, what to do or what I would do if I am in the same situation so I do have some airplane points and what I'm going to tell you is exactly what I'll be doing as well before uh, July 2020. So let's get started. So here you are, we are looking at the airplane redemption chart which is valid up to July 2020. And if you'd like to redeem for any Star Alliance partners, uh, which is uh, including Air Canada and other Star Alliance member airlines, then this is the chart. Uh, you're going to be redeeming uh, Aeroplan uh, miles accordingly. For example, let's say if you're flying to Asia 1 and you'd require, uh, in order to fly economy class, you'd require uh, 75,000 miles for round trip. And for business class, it would be 150,000 miles for round trip, uh, which is uh, Asia 1. Now, I'm going to show you what Aeroplan is saying. Uh, it will keep the same redemption uh, rate after the July 2020. So, for example, uh, here is this page where Aeroplan is just giving us some updates. The beginning of a new Aeroplan, our promise and they're mentioning that starting July 2020 uh, the following round trip flights will be offered beginning at the same mileage levels that we provide today and if you look here let's say for Asia which is going to be 75,000 miles for Asia which is right now the same if you fly economy class but what they're not able to offer because they are not a part of any alliance uh, partner uh, they are not able to offer any business class flights starting that point uh, July 2020 uh, and uh, you get the best value out of your points when you fly business class uh, for example $75,000 I'm sorry 75,000 miles for Asia economy a class ticket would cost I would say approximately let's say if you're going to India from Toronto and back it would be somewhere in the range of $1,500 to $2,000 and the same flight when you're flying business class then it can it can run from let's say about seven thousand to ten thousand dollars or even could be more and then you'd require only hundred fifty thousand points for that so you can see that you're getting a lot more out of your points if you're using for business class and this is what you're going to lose if uh, airplane is not a partner of any uh, alliance partner for example right now it is star alliance and uh, you, it, it, it is going to lose uh, access to all business class flights starting that day and this flight is airplane actually giving on its own so it's just like you're booking uh, at different flights or different airlines using this point so this these uh, flights redemption what uh, airplane is telling us is not because you know they're partner with these airlines it's just because they're just giving 
if you redeem this point or these miles for any uh, member, uh, any uh, airlines there uh, in contract with uh, or any airlines they have contract to re uh, redeem those uh, via those airlines. We heard that uh, Airplan is talking to one alliance uh, partner. However, at this point, it is not certain if that you know if that's going to happen or not. So we do not know that if uh, the talks will be effective and Airplan will be able to access business class flights through one world partner, which is British Airways, uh, American Airlines, uh, Cathay Pacific, and many other. So due to that reason, you will get best value out of your airplane miles if you redeem it before July 2020. Uh, if, and if you use uh, for business class redemption, then it will be uh, it will give you more benefits or more value. For example, uh, my last trip was to Asia, all business class, uh, going back and uh, returning back uh, to Toronto, Canada, and I redeemed. Uh, so you're looking at my itinerary receipt uh, which I redeemed uh, during my last trip. So this is going from uh, Toronto to uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh and you can see that the itinerary right here. And let me scroll down to show you how much exactly I paid for this flight all business class. Okay, so you can see the itinerary uh, Turkish Airlines, Toronto to Istanbul, Istanbul to Dhaka, all business class. And let's uh, scroll, keep scrolling down and let me just go to that section okay so as you can see right here my total cost for this flight was $61.26 Canadian and this is my flight from Toronto to Dhaka via Turkish Airlines business class and uh, this uh, flight at that time when I booked was going for about three four thousand uh, dollars one way not uh, th that's not round trip just one way three to four thousand dollars on Turkish Airlines from uh, Toronto to Dhaka so you can see the value you can get out of uh, using uh, aeroplan for certain partner uh, star Alliance partners which do not charge fuel surcharges uh, and you can get uh, tremendous tremendous value for these points, which you are not going to have after July 2020. I'm going to play my uh, clip from uh, my last trip, uh, business class uh, Toronto to Istanbul, as I talk in the background. So, like I said, you're not going to get value uh, unless Air Aeroplan, uh, you know, um, is successful forming a partnership with one uh, world, uh, but which are still in talks and we don't know what's going to happen and then if you redeem for airplane uh, for uh, Porter Airlines then uh, you know you're not going to get that much value there either because this is just a local or regional airlines and uh, I don't believe even they have business class and even they do it's not going to give you a value like international flight uh, going business class from long distance like the one you're uh, looking at right now so there you lose the chances of uh, redeeming your uh, airplane miles uh, if you do not do it before to, uh, July 2020. Uh, you're losing that uh, you know uh, access to Star Airlines partnership uh, miles uh, uh, members just like the one you're watching right now which is Turkish Airlines. And uh, after that uh, we don't know what's going to happen at this point because we don't know if uh, you know uh, the Porter Airlines uh, what what's the value you're going to get what the redemption chart is like uh, to be or what uh, other if uh, air airplane is able to form an alliance with uh, one world so due to these facts uh, if you if you're looking to get the best value out of your airplane miles and if uh, it's uh, you know if it it's necessary then I would say redeem them for business class before July 2020 but if you do not need to go anywhere or if you do not need to redeem anything then there's no need to rush because you're going to have access to economic class even after July 2020 so you can uh, redeem it at uh, uh, that point uh, when, whenever you need it but you're going to get lesser value but you know if you don't need anything right now well, there's no point to waste just to fly business class to get uh, the most value out of your airplane miles so 
what I'm going to do, I have uh, some airplane miles which will be close to 100,000 or something like that. So I'm going to use that for business class trip uh, which I can get uh, one way and uh, either I'm planning to use it for going to Africa or Asia uh, before uh, 2020 July uh, July 2020 so I'm going to use that I'm not going to sit and wait just to see what happens because I'll not take the chances but in general if you do not need to redeem anything don't rush to redeem it but if you do need to redeem it then you know try to redeem it for business class that way you get the most value and if you're redeeming airplane for business class keep in mind that some of the uh, member airlines charge fuel surcharges which is going to make you pay a lot so do not redeem uh, airplane for this member airlines including air canada i do have another video uh, about uh, how to redeem airplane miles uh, without paying any fuel surcharges and i'll, I'll put it, uh, put that video in the description box below so keep in mind keep in mind when you are redeeming airplane for uh, business class flights or any flights because some flights charge fuel surcharges and uh, if you would like to get the most out of your airplane miles and if you have travel plans coming up then definitely use them for uh, business class before july 2020 but if you have nothing to do just you know sit tight and just see and wait uh, because you know you'll have access to economy class even later on that date so that's my take on this. Uh, if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and other videos. I have lots of videos on freight cars and points and miles and travel uh, videos. And all my travels are business class or most of them are business class travel, uh, expensive uh, or upscale hotel uh, stay. And most of these are done using points and miles. And that's what I talk about on this channel and I talk about and I actually show you those travel videos what I'm doing uh, unlike other channels where you know they're talking about everything but there's nothing specific or they're not showing you what you know uh, any any proof or anything but on my channel you'll see exactly what I'm doing and whenever I go on a trip you can actually follow day by day uh, my trip and most of my trip I, I would say 99% of them are booked using uh, miles and points and i have a trip coming up this year 2018 in november and i'll be going to australia new zealand singapore and malaysia and i have actually seven business class flights and three economic class flights uh, the business class flights are all done on points and you'll be able to track this trip uh, day by day as well so if you haven't subscribed already subscribe and i'll see you shortly thank you for watching